if I move to if I move to my right, your left, you can see those two Inception posters. There. Hello guys and welcome back to the Popcorn Podcast. My name is Dylan, of course, and welcome back to the OG background. I'm happy to be back shooting with all these posters in the background. The uh, last couple of videos have been primarily focused on the Dark Knight trilogy, so most of you will have seen already that I was shooting with a different background. If you haven't checked those videos out, I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description box down below, so maybe you can watch them after this video. But of course, in today's video, we are gonna be talking about Inception. This is part of a mini series I'm doing here on the channel where I'm going through all of the Christopher Nolan directed films and giving you my thoughts, my take on each of those movies. So in today's video, like I said, we are gonna be talking about Inception. So without further ado, let's get into it. So after coming off one of the most successful and acclaimed films of all time, The Dark Knight, 99 out of 100 directors would naturally turn to starting on making the next Batman film, that being The Dark Knight Rises, but of course Christopher Nolan doesn't fit into that 99 out of 100 category. He then turns to a project that has had its fire crackling ever since he came up with the idea at the age of 16. With the approval of Warner Brothers, it was time for the fire to blaze and Chris Nolan starts production on none other than Inception. The the film was then released in 2010, and just like The Dark Knight, Inception remains one of the most critically and box office acclaimed films ever made. So a brief synopsis of Inception, just in case you are one of the two people on the planet who hasn't actually seen the film. Leonardo DiCaprio plays a character called Dom Cobb, who is known as the Extractor. His speciality is that he is able to steal information from people's minds by entering their dreams. He's a character with a tragic past and will do everything he can to be given a shot at the life that was taken from him. When the opportunity comes about, it isn't without the biggest challenge that he and his team will ever face. A task to plant an idea into someone's mind, a task that is near impossible, a task that is known as inception. Now the biggest thing I can commend Inception on is its concept, and ultimately its story. The ironic thing is that Christopher Nolan is one of the most influential directors of the past 20 years. And I think people should know that before he comes into the director's chair, before he makes all these groundbreaking successes with his movies, he is first and foremost an excellent writer with his ideas being so ambitious and wholly original. Inception, in my opinion, is the most impressive script I've seen from Christopher Nolan in all his filmography. And quite frankly, it's one of the most impressive scripts I've ever seen for a film ever. If you had any shadow of a doubt that Chris Nolan was a genius, take a look at Inception. As expected, a film this original and complex needs to be explained to the audience in order for us to comprehend and move forwards with the story. And while exposition is required to educate us on the concept of how entering people's dreams really works, Christopher Nolan doesn't just have the characters explain it to us. He throws us into the process from the very beginning. Us as the audience are placed right into the dreams. So then we're allowed to, you know, expand and learn from this. Inception also features one of my favorite casts ever put to a film with DiCaprio in the lead. It isn't his best performance or anything like that, but as you can expect, he does an excellent job with the central arc of the film. Ellen Page as Ariadne is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best characters. She resembles us as the audience since her character is new to the process of entering dreams. So when she is learning, we are learning too. Another favourite of mine is Tom Hardy as Eames, who is such a badass while bringing his signature British charm and humour. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Ken Watanabe, Michael Caine, Marion Cotillard and Killian Murphy are also brilliant in their supporting roles. I think with a lot of films, it's easy for the supporting characters to be pushed to the side, but here in Inception, Christopher Nolan really uses them to introduce new layers to the team and of course the story as well. One of the first things I noticed when re-watching Inception a couple of days ago was just how beautiful the film really is. Chris Nolan has often expressed his love for Bond films, and right here in the very first act, you can see without a doubt the inspiration that they've had on him. There's this incredible sleekness and elegance to Inception that is a huge contrast from some of Nolan's previous work like Batman Begins and Memento. The film creates and utilizes gorgeous sets like this 
this and this, as well as some really beautiful filming locations for scenes like this, this and this. Overall, the set design and the cinematography make Inception, for me, Christopher Nolan's most beautiful film. So bearing this in mind, if you are one of the only people who haven't actually seen Inception and you want to watch it, please do not watch it on your phone or your laptop. This film is masterful on a technical level and it requires the biggest screen and the largest sound system that you have or you have access to. So please go ahead and try and immerse yourself as much as you can because the film definitely deserves it. One word that I would use to describe Inception as a film, aside from maybe complex, original and multi-layered, would be the word timeless. Once again, going back to the set design, it blows my mind how much effort was put into the making of Inception. For example, the hallway fight was shot on a set that was specifically built to rotate with the actors inside. The action sequences are so thrilling to watch because they're actually happening, whether it be the Mombasa chase sequence, a moving train crashing into cars in the rain, or infiltrating a snow fortress. Inception produces wholly original and immersive set pieces in such brilliant spectacle. Now I can't talk about Inception without of course bringing up Hans Zimmer's music for it. Time isn't just one of my favourite pieces of movie music, but one of my favourite pieces of music, period. The score both complements and elevates the emotional heartbeat as well as the fast-paced, exhilarating story. I was lucky enough to go and see a live show at the O2 Arena, which was a show celebrating Hans Zimmer's music. He wasn't meant to make an appearance or anything like that, but he surprised us. Check this out. I still get goosebumps watching that back. The success of Inception doesn't just come about because of how incredible it is as a movie, but the effect it has had on both pop culture and cinema. Very few films in the sci-fi genre can come even close to the ambitiousness and the originality of this film. It's another Christopher Nolan film that I'm really trying to think of flaws for, but I'm getting nowhere with it. I do think that the film requires more than one viewing to fully grasp and appreciate, but I think it's safe to say that Inception is a masterpiece on every level, a masterpiece that is timeless. Of course, of course, Inception gets an A plus from me. Guys, look forward to my next video coming very soon, which will be more of a video essay style look at Inception. I can't wait to start filming it and dive deeper into the movie where I can talk full spoilers. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like and comment down below your thoughts on Inception. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for more movie content. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in the next video.